It's not always easy to be confident in yourself, especially if other people put you down. So for today's video, let's talk about self-confidence. Self-confidence means feeling sure of yourself and your abilities, not in arrogant way but in realistic, secure way, and not about feeling superior to others. But sometimes it can be hard to develop confidence, either because personal experiences have caused you to lose confidence or because you suffer from low self-esteem. I want to be honest, I was shy and not confident when I was young. Maybe because I always think I'm an ugly duckling in the family. But today, I will share 5 things that I have done to boost my self-confidence. First, dress nicely. Of course, physical appearance matters. The clothes you wear and the way you groom yourself will change the way other people think about you. If you dress nicely, you feel good about yourself, you feel successful and presentable and ready to tackle the world. You don't need to break the bank to look good. There's a lot of online stores now selling pre-owned items such as watches, luxury bag, and pre-owned designer clothes. It doesn't necessarily mean to wear a signature clothes, but could mean casual clothes that are nice looking and presentable. Research has proven that the way you dress can majorly reduce your stress hormones. So make sure you choose comfortable and fashionable clothing and if possible, colors that will make you feel calm and relax. Second, start working out. Exercise has been one of my most empowering activities in the last couple of years and it has made me so much better about myself. Studies show that regular exercise gives you more than health benefits. It's a huge confidence booster because exercise provides us with a sense of accomplishment that boosts our confidence, also make us look better. Not to mention, when you have higher self-esteem, you're better equipped to meet your goals and be successful. When we are not happy with the way we look, we develop body image issue and low self-esteem. All you have to do is take a walk or anything that you love to do, like running, swimming, playing basketball, or volleyball. The important is, every day, do one thing that's good for your body. Definitely, you will see the benefits. So, start the habits. Number three, take care of yourself. Taking care of yourself means to let yourself get some rest. Take a vacation, eat your favorite food, get a haircut, treat yourself to the spa, get your nails done, cry if you need to. It's not selfish to take care of yourself, so don't feel guilty. There is a saying, when you start taking care of yourself, you start feeling better. You start looking better, and you start to attract better. It all starts with you. 
And if you do not care for yourself, you will not be strong enough to take care of anything in life. So, it is important to take time for yourself and find clarity. You don't always have to be busy pushing yourself too hard because self-care needs to be part of our everyday life. Number four, embrace your flaws. Being perfect is something you will never achieve. Not because you can't, but because it doesn't exist. Perfection is just a lie. And us being human beings, we crave it. We want to look ideal to everyone so that they won't have anything against us. One of my flaws is having a big nose. I never stop hating my nose. Maybe because in our country, there is a rampant discrimination when it comes to physical appearance. But when I got the chance to go to other countries and got a lot of compliments, and then my friend told me, stop being at war with your own body. Then I started to embrace my flaws and loving myself completely. I got this beautiful quote from my friend, and it says, Next time when you think of beautiful things, don't forget to count yourself in. Now, after I accept all these flaws, I never even bothered how my nose looks like. And lastly, remove negative people. Life becomes easier when you delete the negative people. For me, negative people are the toxic people. They create drama deliberately in order to attract more attention and engage in manipulation. They give you a lot to be sad and angry about. But if you focus on this, you will stay miserable and frustrated. It's okay to remove toxic people from your life without offering an explanation. Sometimes we have no choice when they already know what they are doing wrong. So guys, thank you for watching and if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe and if you have something to say, just leave a message in a comment below.